Now, amid uh, the Russia-Ukraine war that's been raging on for over two years now, uh, there's uh, a statement that's coming from the White House, uh, the national... Uh, in fact, this is a statement that's coming from John Kirby, who's claimed that U.S. believes that at least 3,000 North Korean soldiers travel to ship uh, to Russia's largest Pacific port in early mid-October. Uh, there's high probability that these soldiers uh, may enter into combat alongside the Russian military. And if they do so, then this development would demonstrate Russia's growing desperation in its war against Ukraine. Amid Russia Ukraine war at its peak, John Kirby, national security spokesman, has made a big announcement. He has claimed of US believing that about 3,000 North Korean soldiers are undergoing training in Eastern Russia and they might engage in combat against Ukrainian military. I think as you have all heard uh, earlier this morning, we have seen the public reporting indicating that North Korean soldiers are traveling to Russia to fight against Ukraine. We're working closely with our allies and partners to gain a full understanding of this situation. But today, I'm prepared to share what we know at this stage. We assess that between early to mid-October, North Korea moved at least 3,000 soldiers into eastern Russia. If this happens, then it would demonstrate Russia's growing desperation in its war against Ukraine. John Kirby further called this as a sign of weakness, not strength on the part of the Kremlin. For the time being, we will continue to monitor this situation closely. But let's be clear, if North Korean soldiers do enter into combat, this development would demonstrate Russia's growing desperation in its war against Ukraine. Russia is suffering extraordinary casualties on the battlefield every single day. But President Putin appears intent on continuing this war. Now, Russia and North Korea have denied the troop movements. Remember, viewers, in June, they signed a major defense deal to provide immediate military assistance if either is attacked. Now, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has also supported Kirby's statement and has claimed of sharing evidence. We are seeing evidence that, uh, that there are uh, North Korean troops that have, that have uh, 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 gone to Africa. Now, what exactly, excuse me, not Africa, but, uh, but Russia. What exactly they're doing, uh, left to be seen. These are things that we need to sort out. We'll have more for you on that, on that later. But, yeah, that, you know, as we continue to look at this, there is, uh, there is evidence that uh, there are DPRK troops uh, you know, in Russia. So. Doubling down to Kirby's statement, Park Sumo, South Korean lawmaker, has confirmed presence of North Korean troops in Russia. Will NATO now back Ukraine? 